<laughs> Quit being stupid. All right. All right. All right. When you're out and about and you go to a, I don't know, a, 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 a car cruise, a car show, a show and shine, a rama, or whatever you're doing, and you're going and you're looking at cars. I don't really do that so much anymore because I'm kind of tired of them. I see them every damn day. So I've owned absolutely everything that you can own vicariously through other people. So, but you probably do. Lots of people do. Everybody I know does. Um, anyways, where the hell was I? When you go to look at it, all that crap. I mean, what do you? What's what's one of the things that you're looking at when you're looking at the cars? You're looking at all the lines on the cars, aren't you? Did you get that? You're looking at the lines. Every car out there, unless it's a black car, every other car out there has black stripes. What are those stripes, you ask? Well, the panel gaps, right? Hood to the fender, the whatever you call that, cowl fender to the fender to the door to the door to the cab to the cab to the box to the to the to the to the to the to the. There's gaps everywhere. You can't always adjust these gaps with wrenches. I don't care what kind of wrenches you got. I got pretty shiny chrome wrenches. They ain't gonna fix that. Let me show you. Now this is, uh, it, it has a new fender on it. A brand new made in Chaiwanese fender. Um, but that, this door was put on this truck from the factory as was that panel. So I'm going to say that that shitty gap right there, that's always been like that. Oh, I just seen somebody go under the truck. Oh, there she goes. There goes Sketchy. She's out of here. She's tired, she's tired of your shit. She's out of here. But you see, it's not bad there. It's pretty good up there. Whoa, look at how wide it gets there. Kind of continues down there. And then it's not bad to our piece of shit fender down there. It's all right. Where's my finger? Up there. Come back here and look. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's all right. Yeah, mm-hmm. It gets a little tight down at the bottom. I don't know. Probably take it off the door. Um, you might be tempted. Oh, look at my finger in front of you. You might be tempted when you see that. One way to fix that is to scooch that door ahead a little bit. But then when you scooch that door a little bit, it's going to bring all those lines down. And it's going to close you up up there. Because when you scooch the door ahead, you're going to do that with it, right? So you're going, to, uh, you're going to open your gap up down there a little bit. You're going to close it up up there. And you're going to open it up there. That and that are going to open up the same amounts. Because it's going to do that. So I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'll probably grind some off the edge of the door. Because again, that door was put on this truck new. And that's never moved. And it ain't rusty. So it's not a previous repair that's screwing us up. So you ain't fixing that gap with a wrench neither. That's the point of that. That's the meat and the whole sandwich here. So what do you do with that? To fix that, that's what you do with it. You take that and you marry it with that. See, there's a big spool of panel gap tightener in there that comes on a great big round thing you put in there and it's copper colored and then it feeds out through that hose. And when you feed the panel gap tightener upper in there through that hose into there, well, it tightens that gap up. I'll demonstrate. So just a minute. Here we are. Here we go. Here it is. The moment you've been... Oh, I am waiting for it. Here's my door gap installation tool. Tools, everybody's got to have some tools. All right. Ow, 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 ow. Some of my bitch. Oh, I should be starting from the bottom and going up because the heat rises. Oh.
When you're going to grind this, don't bother using a stone. It's not going to get you anywhere. Let me show you something. Well, let, me, let me tell you what I do. So, uh, oh. you, uh, you want a straight line, right? So when you want to straighten something out in the auto body world, you use blocks and boards and stuff. So to grind this, what I'm fitting to do is I'm going to use one of these here. And uh, instead of using it on an edge, you know, whatever, we're going to slip her in like that. And we're going to grind her like cha. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to try to get as much of this distance as I can across our disc here, across the old grinder dicks. Dicks? Is it a dicks? Grinder dicks. No, the S is on the other side. It's a disc. So I'm going to take the grinder with the old grinder dick and a disc, and I'm going to stuff her in there. And effectively, with I'm going to block that with some rocks. Yang, yang, yang. So just here, just a minute. Just a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These shields are. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just this this a little titty bit tid tidbit that I like to do. I got a choker on my grinder down here, so you're not always going. You're not always redlining. I don't want always. I don't want always be redlining. We gotta switch positions. And when you're doing it, I mean, have a look at it on a regular basis, because that you like your when you're when you're grinding on the edge, it ain't gonna take much to to shave her down. You know what I'm saying, you? It's not like. I don't know, just pay attention, damn it, because you don't want to grind too much out and they just have to be going back and forth with the door gap filler in or in the grinder. Like, we're actually not bad there already. I'm a little bit tight there. When you're doing stuff like this with something like this, hang on to it. Like, don't be going all limp-wristed in your pride fashion, hanging on to it. Hang on to the, hang on to the sum of my bitch. Guys who get into trouble with, with tools and with grinders and with drills and stuff, it's because they weren't manhandling. You got to hang on to that thing like it's a chunk of morning wood. Like, grip that bastard. Otherwise, when it grabs and snags, you're going to get into trouble. So just remember, white knuckle that bugger. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. going to happen.
what I'm looking at here is uh, up here in this top corner up here, my fender kind of dives in a little bit, just the way they made it. And I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much because, I mean, it's not a... It's not an absolute perfect everybody here. And I mean, we're not building a Barney Johnson car truck here. You know what I mean? Like nobody's going to be coming at these gaps with the gauge and gauging them up and down. We just want to please into the eyeballs. So uh, to judge my gap, I kind of need to, it kind of throws your eye up a little bit the way the fender curves in. Because you don't want to cut your door gap and you don't want your door to be shaped all stupid like. It should be pretty straight. And because this is two different panels and they're going to reflect the light differently and there's going to be all kinds of different shit going on in this little intersection here, it's all right if that gap kind of takes one of those. But you want your door so your door should be straight. So you want your door gap to look straight. You don't want your door going and following through the intersection there. So I'm kind of cutting the intersection out with my hand, right? So I'm just looking at my door edge now. And it looks like we're pretty straight. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Now, if you just go back and think about it, that's, uh, that's quite a bit different. Hey, we're a lot even more even there. Kind of looks shitty there, but it's just the way the light's reflecting. Hey, if I move you around, you get a different... Now, one, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is, uh, here, let's put you there. How's that grab you? Right by the boo-boo. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing shit like this here is, uh, so when you're doing it on the panel, you're coming in, here, I can show you up here. Your weld's coming in at an angle, right? So my weld is, is hitting that panel at an angle. So if you were to take this door off and have a look at it, this weld here, the door is going to go flat like that. I don't know how to show you. Jesus. So if that's the edge of the door, if this is the edge of the door, and this is my weld, doink, it looks like that. Right? It's coming out. So once you grind this edge flush, it's going to be knife edged. So really what you're going to need to do is when you take the door off, you're going to have to go at the back side of that and put a little bit more weld on there. Because you don't want a knife edge on the edge of your watch out. You don't want to... Uh, uh, whisk. You don't want to, I mean, you're not cutting a steak. You don't want a knife edge on the edge of the door. You want it to be round like the rest of it. And when, when this thing is painted, like when you're walking by it, you can kind of see that to an extent, that door edge. So you don't want it all pointy here and kind of round it off here. God damn it, let me show you. See how that's rounded there, that edge there? Well, down here, by the time you grind this all flat, you're not going to have that rounded edge anymore because there are welds to the outside of it, right? You see what I'm saying to you? Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? I don't know how to explain it any better than that. I mean, Jesus, if you don't get it, then I don't know what to do with you. So anyways, yeah, that's uh, going to do that there. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do it up here because again, we're a bunch of different panels and we're just not intersecting well. So I'm going to leave that. But this, I mean, that was bad. I mean, that was, because remember that was wide. So anyways, that's how you adjust door gaps without no, you know, no tools, no wrenches or nothing. If you need to, you use the old liquid door gap tightener upper. So yeah, that's it. See ya.